Hello there, my name is Zelda Kelly, I'm with Psychic Secrets. Today is your weekly tarot for the week of May 7th through the 14th of 2023. Let's see what's in store for you. Cutting the deck, and we're going to start out with this beautiful Queen of Swords. We have the King of Wands. we got a lot of royalty here going on. And we have this beautiful Six of Wands. Now, I'm going to straighten my cards out here just a little and get rid of this glare for you. Now, what I'm going to say is this. There's a lot, I believe, that has happened for you up until now and the reason why you got these particular cards. And that is, I'm going to say... I'm, I'm fixing my lamp here so you can see that much better. Um, that is that you really, it, it's almost as though you've been in survival mode. And the fact that you're trying to continue to be in survival mode and yet you're winning throughout the week. Let me point out a few things to you, my dear friend. First of all, this Queen of Swords, she's a very ele airy element. You see, the wind is at her beck and call, which means she can command intelligence, communication, and whatever the case may be. You see, there's even a little bird in the air there for her direction. She's got a lot going on here, and we'll talk about that some other time, but she even has a little butterfly there. Anything that is connected to the air element is for her. This is neither male nor female energy, but it's an invitation for you to maybe reach out, negotiate with others, work on things, work on your communication, and that's what she's all about. But this wonderful, fiery king of wands, and you see we've talked about this before, this little salamander here, and that's the spirit animal of the wand suit, simply because the salamander is said, supposedly, to be able to go through fire without being hurt, singed, scathed, burned, however you want to deal with that or however you want to say that. You see, there's salamander indication all through his tapestry and his cloak. But this, this fiery wand here is communication in its best form. Because it is opportunity and it is growth. You see there's growth on that wand. But there's also this invitation for you to step out of your comfort zone. Do more for you that you want to do. You do so much for others. It's time for you. Step out of this comfort zone. And I think it's step out of this uncomfortable zone that you've been. Like I said, I think you've been in survival mode for some time and it's no fault of your own it's dealing what you need to deal with at the bare minimum and now it's time for you this is an invitation this fiery king neither male nor female but the energy that wraps around this king invites you to step up and step out get out of that comfort zone do more for you in the end, we see this wonderful, and I say beautiful, six of wands because, again, it's a fire element. But you see he's sitting very stoic on this, on this horse. And even the horse is so grand in stature and stoic. And you see these other people are cheering this person on. There's varying degrees of this wand. So I'm going to say there's varying degrees of winning and what you're dealing with. This is your energy. I've got to say, you win. In fact, this card is a past tense. In fact, it's a celebration after a win. So let's just say that you have won. That is for sure. Now, I want to get some other cards out here. We're going to confirm what we're talking about with this little mini deck so you can see it a lot easier as we go forward. Now, this reading is for all signs. And if it doesn't resonate with you, it may later on in a few days. 
these things happen like that. So take what resonates with you now, and you never know. It may show up again later on. Okay, so here we go. Cutting the card on your behalf, and here we are. Oh, definitely. Survival mode at its finest with this card. We're going to put out another one here. My, my apologies. Look at this. Royalty all over. We have the Queen of Swords, the King of Swords right here, and the King of Wands. Now, we're going to pull out another card, and this card is the Tower. That is an indication of what you've been going through, my friends. And I'm going to say this. To end up this whole and final message for you, this whole reading for this week, Ugh, look at this, the Ace of Swords. Let's talk about these cards just for a minute. You see, I know this is in survival mode because it's hard for you not to feel bad, sometimes feel guilty, regret, frustrated. You look at what you've lost and yet it's hard to think of what you still have and that that is a blessing. Survival mode kind of messes with you a little bit, but you're going to come out of this and you're coming out of this because of this wands you've won. I love this, but this is so you recognize what is happening for you. We'll put him right there. Now, we're going to talk about this very stately king of swords. Just like his queen, he is stoic sitting there and waiting. You see the butterflies, they're, they're an indication that, well, this the, the air and the breeze moves him to the point where he knows what direction to communicate. You know, sometimes when you're waiting for an answer, no answer is your answer. That's this energy of the King of Swords. Puts you in this position where no answer sometimes may be your answer. And you can work forward on that energy. It will make sense. Think about this. It will make sense. You see, there's the sword up letting everyone know, look, we're with the queen and the king. Look, we're, we're ready to go to battle if we need to. But the reality of it is you won't need to. This is a this is an energy where you use your smarts, makes you stretch intelligently. It's an air sign. They think things through. They have the facts, and that's exactly what you've done. This is a confirmation of this tower of what you've gone through. This past few days, even weeks and months, maybe even a year of this survival is that you're dealing with this energy of total collapse, taking him back, taking, I, I mean, it's just crazy, some of the things that have happened to you. Well, my dear, don't you worry, because the last card in our confirmation of this is this beautiful Ace of Swords. And I love this because it's all air and fire elements, which means one plays off of the other one just perfectly. But this is a benevolent hand coming out to you and telling you that you are in control. You have a fresh and a brand new start right ahead of you. Isn't that lovely? I love that. This is your final message. And that is you keep now going on this correct path. You're going to come out of survival mode. You're only doing that because sometimes we must do that. Well, in order to get through, and that's what you've been doing. But now you're going to break free. And that's telling you that you definitely have won. You definitely won this battle of survival mode. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you so much. You can find me on social media. I'm Psychic Zelda Kelly. And if you'd like to have a reading with me personally, you can stop on over to www.psychicsecrets. There's two S's in the middle. Psychicsecrets.com. And I'll be there for you. I'm an extension 11. Have a beautiful and wonderful week, my friends. Be blessed. And definitely, you're coming out of survival mode. Take care, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye.